Hola guys, it's Mama Dukes here again, and this is another quick wig tutorial. I told you guys that I was going to do another wig tutorial. You guys know my website that I love, the samsbeauty.com. These lashes are from them as well. It's like a double up effect. Lashes on top of the other lashes. Really cute. Love them. Okay, this is from Sensational What Lace. Okay, let's get into it, okay? Okay, so this is Cloud9 Swiss Lace Wig, 100% Premium Fibers, HD Lace, and this is in the color 1, and the style is Akili High Bun. 360 What Lace Custom Frontal. This unit can also be worn down as well. Things that I'm going to be using for this tutorial. My wig, of course, foundation if I need it. Y'all see I done changed my braiding pattern, so of course, my braiding pattern has changed. Just for a little better install for this unit that I was wearing it up so that I can be able to have it up. Kind of lay baby hairs down just in case if it's a little shy. I got a big head. I don't know if you want to say forehead, a head. It's a lot of heads up there, okay? That's what I know. Also, a stocking cap if I need it, just in case you never can tell. And then a shears, of course. Don't really need a comb. It's in a bun. And I'm using the end of a rat tail, and I'm going to be using my gots to be um, spiking glue. And the reason for this it's a 360 lace, uh, 360 lace wig. Okay, enough talking. Enough talking. Okay. And it comes really cute packaged in a box. You guys already saw. It comes with the bun protected as far as in here and then in here. So, it has a little tape to cover it, but it should be where you can, uh, let's see. Yep, you can lift that. And it has a little, y'all know I don't pull my, my wigs. None. Even my wealth help, hair if I'm doing a sewing. I don't pull. It's, don't do it. It'll shed like a mad dog. Okay, so she comes in very nice packaging. She has something over her bun to protect her. A uh, hair net on there as well, but look at the baby hairs. They're kind of long, so I know I'm going to be trimming them, but overall, she's very cute and soft, guys. So it's a HD lace, keeping them guessing. Heat safe up to 350 to 400 degrees. Natural density, so it looks very naturally plucked along the hairline. Um, it's 360 Swiss lace. A flexible mesh cap, combs, adjustable straps, and adjustable band. Of course, like I told you, the um, transparent Swiss lace all the way around. It's pre-plucked, pre-customized, baby hairs, undetectable. And I'm going to show you as well. And like I said, you can wear it either up in a bun or down with the nice curls, okay? And her name is, again, Akili. Okay. And I love these names for them, okay? They just give you life. That's all I'm saying. So the bun has a comb in the back, of course. Two adjustables there get that out okay that's to keep your packs fresh and dry riding if you guys didn't know it has an adjustable strap that you can take out but i feel for the band you need it in for just a tighter secure look i don't want to like snatching my stuff off or the wind and then it has excellent three combs in the front okay y'all so let's just go on and get into this okay all right guys so the adjustable band is a little bit big but it does adjust like your bra straps would so i'm going to pull it tighter so that i can get it nice and snug fit and again i probably going to do the clips in because i want it a little bit more secure when i tack everything down as far as the front sides and the back as well and it's actually very roomy and i got a big old head and literally y'all see how much room i got as i'm pulling this is a very nice roomy roomy unit okay guys so i got the lace cut off i got her on she's a little bit more messy now because i was you know trying to get her just strict just right okay she's a little bit more big head friendly so that means she you got extra space i don't like my units way down especially with baby hairs and so forth so i had to kind of pull her back a little bit so like pull her back there so when i do it maybe she'll stop there let's see yeah so like she stops there you see what i'm saying like it's just a little bit more but we're gonna work with that we're not gonna even trip over that okay don't leave it be so again like i told you i'm using gots to be okay I plan on wearing it long duration, but I'm probably going to keep it on for about a week or so. So, and I got bonnets, so I can put a bonnet on to protect my synthetic units. You know, I sleep in my units. I wear my units for longer than what I need to, but I shampoo and condition them and I keep them maintained and, and manageable. So, therefore, they're not tangly, they're not dusty, dirty, they're always fresh and ready to wear when I'm ready to place one on. It's just about how you, the maintenance of what you do for your units. I'm going to take care of whether it's synthetic or human. I'm a stylist. I'm not throwing away any dime. I'm going to make sure that everything is on point. Today, I'm going to be a cute stylist. 
I don't know, but we're going to see. And like I said, we're going to go ahead, get into this video. I'm going to play my music, and I'm going to go ahead and speed through this so y'all can get to see. And then I'll come back with my final thoughts. So. And whatever you're using to lay your wig down or lay your unit down with, you can use as many layers as you would like to. I'm going to do two or three layers in the front, maybe just two. And I'm going to do three or four layers in the back because I really want it to adhere nice and flat in the back. So while I'm wearing it up, of course, it won't slip up in the back. And you can use a blow dryer to blow dry it just to make it a little tacky. I don't feel like going to get my blow dryer. I'm being very lazy. So I'm just going to apply the glue and just use the stock card that my wig came with and use that as a hand fan. And I did lay these hairs down. Y'all saw how I laid my own baby hairs down. But unfortunately, on my sides, being that my hair is curly, my hair never lays down all the way perfect. Okay guys, so that was two layers of glue and now I'm just drying it so it can get, you know, kind of tacky, a little sticky feel so that you can go ahead and um, lay your wig down and so forth. So that's what you're going to see me doing. And I'm going to be tacking down the sides and holding it down and just using my rat tail end of the comb and just go through and just make sure that it's laying down pretty good and it's melting a little and I'm going to add a little bit more glue up a little bit closer so that the top part of that lace on my sides can actually lay and lay a little flatter but I'm just going to go ahead and just put a little bit glue all the way around and just some a little bit up further so that my side pieces will be here really good tight and secure And guys, I do not need you coming for me in the comments saying, oh my gosh, you got a piece of a rat tail comb. Guess what? It had just broke. No big thing. I ordered me some. I got some more. It came in the mail. Okay, guys, so I got my silk scarf underneath and I'm laying my little bandana little thing on top to make it tighter for the back but unfortunately my big head done stretched it so now I got to make a makeshift knot so it can stay in place and lay down this lace in the back and in the front and on the sides okay but it's okay I'm gonna just sit here and fan just like if I'm you know ain't got nothing to do all right guys so I'm back and I just see my lipstick almost gone, but I went on and, you know, because it took a minute for the back. So it does take a minute for you to actually set it when you're trying to set it. I mean, you can go with some stronger adhesive, but I don't want my edges and my back and everything just snatched off, okay? So that's why I choose not to do that. But I went on and laid my baby hairs down, trimmed them a little bit. I did take the bun down because I wanted to see how the unit was constructed. And it actually has a little 
I'll describe it in one second, guys. Let me see. Okay, see that? It worked, but then you see that my one little piece of hair all out of whack? But it's okay. That bad boy may get cut. Okay, there we go. We got some little flyaways. We're not going to worry about them either. Okay, so because I had to redo this a little bit on both corners in there. So as you see, I got a few little baby hairs down. Like I said, I did take the bun down to redo, to re, you know, just get her to my liking a little bit more. Now, normally, I would go through and use a little bit, just a little bit of freeze spray on the brush and brush up all the flyaways. You know, that that's what I would do. But being that, like I said, this is just for video tutorial purpose, I'm not going to do that. But the clip itself... Those old clips back in the day that was made like a banana clip, that's basically what it gives me, banana clip. But it got sponge over it and it has a hole in the middle made like this so the hair can go through after. And it has a ponytail as well. So it's in a pon ponytail, then you put the ponytail through the little slit hole and you take it to the end of the hair. Of course, smooth it out. It'll be much better. I didn't smooth it out. Like I said, I know how to do it. Video tutorial. That's what this is. I'm just doing a review to let you guys know how I think about this unit. I cleaned up along, you know, my hairline and everything all along here to get all that excess glue that I had to use at first. Like you see right there, my little bun trying to go that way, but it's okay because you can redirect her. See that? Bam. Problem solved. Anyway, not really digging the little baby hairs, but it'll be okay for those as well because I told y'all, I don't really care for baby hairs, but I'm going to comb those and just make them a little bit soft so they just more so, as y'all see, I'm doing with my fingers, they're more so just a little flowy look. Like I told you, this little piece here may get clipped. I may just put a little bit more freeze spray kind of hold it down. Who knows? But... I just use a little bit of a mousse just to lay the baby hair, so that's what I mean by you can comb them. Their comb, their comb will go right back into um, the shape of how you actually lay them. So, as you see, it's a little patchy, like right up in there. That's from that glue. But, problem solved. We're going to add pretty much a little bit of makeup. That's all. You know, because, like I told you guys, I didn't add any makeup up there. So, I have this, and it's just a blend of mine, but it's like a concealer. So, as you see, I'm going to just go through there. You see that? Bam. And you just conceal it. Just, just along there, you know. And I did wipe along the hairline and everything. But like I said, normally I would really wipe, put me some oil, everything. But I'm going to do my makeup, lay that in the spots where I need it. And it's going to be a beam. I mean, I'm going out for a quick second today. So, like I said, it's just going to be what it's going to be, you know. Overall, I like this unit. I do like it up. Like I said, um, a lot of the girls, and I'm going to finish this off camera, guys, but a lot of the girls, you know, they really didn't care for it. You know, they was like, well, they, they liked it, but they just didn't, um, they didn't like the bun. I'm digging the bun, you know. The bun does, does something for me. So, I'm going to do a 360, let you guys see how you look in the back. FYI, guys, when you tack down your back, don't tack it down with your head straight up. Hold your head down then do the glue and tack it, okay? Trust me. So, you know, you guys let me know what you think. Drop it in the comments below. Like I said, this is a very actually good unit. As you see, once I finish putting the makeup, it's going to conceal that as you see already. I do not like my baby hairs so close to my eyebrows. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just feel like I got a unibrow about to start. That's not cute. Maybe on some, not on me. That's all I'm saying. Y'all see my highlight is just beaming, baby. But, again, Miss Akili, I'm digging Miss Akili. I'm really liking Miss Akili. She works well with my lashes. She works well with my makeup. And overall, like I said, it fits on some. It don't fit on most. But Akili is the go for me. So she gets two thumbs up. And I can't wait to show you guys when I do actually wear her down. Because, of course, when I wear her down, I want to take the adjustable strap out. I may keep it in. But I'm going to bring her back more to where my hairline is more where my natural hairline is. And then baby girl can really maybe appreciate these baby hairs that she created. Because I couldn't really get a start or a finish. Like, comment below. I know y'all gonna comment. L let me know, okay? I couldn't see the back. I'm going to have to check it out off camera. Subscribe. And again, well, I'm, I'm not going to tell y'all no more. If you not subscribe, I feel some type of way. Because all I'm doing is DIYing, making it make sense. That's it. And everything is on a budget. I'm not breaking your bank. I'm not telling you to go out here and shop at Home Depot, all these expensive places to buy all this stuff. You use a cardboard for cer certain DIYs, and others you use nothing but some gas to be free and a little bit of um, a little bit of glue maybe. But really, you could do it without. I'm just saying. So go ahead and subscribe to Mom Dudes. Hit your bell notification so you don't miss out on any any content that I'm sending you guys. Okay? Don't play with me. Play with your edges. Okay? 
Don't do me, do your energy. Just saying. Holla at your girl, Mom Dukes. And I'm out, y'all. Y'all have a good one. Peace.